Hello viewers. In this video, we will discuss about a traffic advisory service, which is used in uncontrolled airspace to prevent collisions by advising pilots of other aircraft or hazards. So the objective of a traffic advisory service is to make information on collision hazards more effective than it would be in the mere provisions of flight information service. It may be provided to aircraft conducting IFR flights in advisory airspace or on advisory routes, that is class F airspace. Air traffic advisory services does not afford the degree of safety and cannot assume the same responsibilities as air traffic control service in respect of avoidance of collisions. Since information regarding the disposition of traffic in the area concerned available to the unit providing a traffic advisory service may be incomplete. A traffic advisory service does not deliver clearances but only advisory information and it uses the word advise or suggest when a course of action is proposed to an aircraft. Flight plan. If the flight plan is submitted for the purpose of obtaining a traffic control service, the aircraft is required to wait for an air traffic control clearance prior to proceeding under the conditions requiring compliance with air traffic control procedures. And if the flight plan is submitted for the purpose of obtaining air traffic advisory service, the aircraft is required to wait for acknowledgement of a receipt by the unit providing the service. IFA flights when operating within class F airspace are expected to comply with the same procedures as those applying to control flights except the flight plan and changes thereto are not subjected to a clearance since the unit furnishing a traffic advisory service will only provide advice on the presence of essential traffic or it will give suggestions as to possible course of action. It is for the aircraft to decide whether or not it will comply with the advice or suggestion received from a traffic unit and to inform the unit providing a traffic advisory service without delay of its decision. A ground contact shall be made with the air traffic services unit designated to provide air traffic advisory service within the advisory airspace or portion thereof. An air traffic services unit providing air traffic advisory service shall advise the aircraft to depart at the time specified and to cruise at levels indicated in the flight plan if it does not foresee any conflict with other known traffic. A traffic service unit will suggest to aircraft a course of action by which a potential hazard may be avoided, giving priority to an aircraft already in the advisory airspace over other aircraft desiring to enter such advisory airspace. And the air traffic service unit will pass to aircraft traffic information comprising the same information as that prescribed for area control service. So we have reached to the end of this session. Please uh, share your views in the comment section. Thanks for watching.